Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, serious. Oh, he's kicking. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Daisy's here. She's going to help me film a final tour of the nursery because I feel like I can't show you properly when I'm holding the camera and trying to do it all at the same time. I have my mummy mug as a prop. However, I think I'm going to have to put it down because I think I'm going to spill it. Everything's white and it just... I'll pop it down on the windowsill here. So, let's start. You've seen quite a few bits coming together through the vlogs. But let's do a final tour and I'll show you everything I've got. So, you walk into the room here. This is the door. I'm not going to open it because there's a lot of mess behind that door. But you walk in and here we have the cot. <laughs> Uh, this is the Oxford, I think it's, yeah, it's called Oxford, isn't it? From Mamas and Papas. This has a drawer underneath it here. Um, in that drawer, I'm keeping sheets, seat bags, towels, and that kind of thing. So it's like a, kind of like an airing cupboard <laughs> kind of vibe. Um, so that's what I'm keeping under there. The mattress. It goes to two different levels, which I think is quite normal for a cot, but I wouldn't know. We've got it on the higher one, because I think that's what you do for a baby. But this actually does turn into a bed eventually as well, so that's quite handy. I do currently have my dog tot in here, but do not worry. I know you're not supposed to let them sleep in here, but I'm just keeping it in here for the time being, because he is safe in my tummy now anyway. <laughs> um, so let's go through the details. This is a hot air balloon mobile that I got from Natural Baby Shower, I think it's called. FYI, I will link everything down below in the description box. So yeah, this is from Natural Baby Shower. I wanted to get something that had some blues in it, just because it's a boy, so he needed, you know, some kind of boyish colours, I felt. <laughs> and then I matched that in with this blanket from Zara Home. Zara Home have got really really good baby bits in there by the way and all their like wooden toys and stuff so nice so here on the wall i have put three prints these are from etsy the frames are from john lewis um everything was looking very white in here so i wanted to add some kind of natural textures which is why i went for wooden frames and like a wooden mobile just so that it you know, i don't know it just kind of adds a bit of coziness i feel this is Angus, he's from the White Company. <laughs> he lives just there, he's from my brother. Okay, so this lamp is from John Lewis. And we've got like a really cozy bulb in there, so it's really nice in the evening to have that light on rather than like the main bright light. Turn that back off again. Here, this is the IKEA day bed. This was in here already when this was my office. But we decided to keep it in here just because seeing as there's space, I thought it had a beep. Yeah, seeing as there's space, we may as well have, like, keep a spare bed. Um, maybe I'll sleep in here sometimes with him. <laughs> I don't know, probably not, but I don't know, it might come in handy. And also there's just a place to sit in here as well. And it has extra storage down here. These drawers are really deep. They're, this one's empty. Like, really recommend this bed actually it pulls out as a double as well um so yeah that's good <laughs> and then the bedding on the bed this is i can't remember the name of it but it's from the white company again i'll link it down below i just thought the little like bobble details makes it a bit nursery-ish would you agree daisy yes <laughs> <laughs> again the big pillows are from the white company the curtain fabric, you probably will have seen me get this, but this is the first time you'll have seen it as curtains. This is uh, the Bears and Balloons fabric from Sophie Allport. I have a discount code, I believe. Hopefully it's still valid. I'll put it down below. But I bought the fabric and my mum is very clever and made them into these gorgeous curtains. Um, I just love the kind of like safari vibe because we've got giraffes, elephants, lions and hot air balloons are just the cutest so there's a few kind of hot air balloons around in the room and then should we move over to here so here i have two shelves from scandyborn i want to say um but they're not by scandyborn they're like a different 
brand, but they're handmade and they are such gorgeous. Like they're really nicely made, in my opinion, <laughs> and my mum's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> my mum's opinion is um, what's the word? Uh, you know when someone's opinion is like the most important. Yeah. Anyway, these Maybe. Are the hangers that I've got here. These are from the White Company, and I just thought it'd be cute to hang like two or three special pieces there. So I've got. This little set which is from Trotters, Nad's bought it for me and it's just the cutest thing and I want this to be his Christmas day outfit. And then a little Petty Bateau cream cardigan. And then on the shelves here, this actually has his name on it but I've turned it around so you guys can't see it. <laughs> and then my mum bought this little tractor which is so cute. Um, I don't know where either of those are from but this is a little basket I got from Zara Home and it has some stamps in it. <laughs> <laughs> cute! They're not going to be there for long though. But anyway, um, this is a jelly cat. Is it called Jelly Cat? Yeah. Yeah. And then this book is from the White Company. Okay, and then around here we have another window with the Sophie Allport curtains again. And then this is the Oxford changing table slash chest of drawers from Mamas and Papas. So on top I've put this Oliella changing basket just again to add some kind of natural textures in here and I feel like the wicker works really well. I'm not sure how practical this is as a changing basket because it's not wipe clean but we don't really care about practical at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I might change my mind about that when he's here. Um, <laughs> this giraffe is from Marks and Spencers. He's a cutie. He just looks over when he's getting changed. <laughs> and then in here, I'll tell you about my organisation. It's not quite done, but we have nappies and then products in the middle. This kind of organiser is from Primark. Then we have muslins and socks and booties and hats and little bits like that and these are all his clothes for now i would say i haven't got an ott i want people to comment and let me know have i bought too many clothes this is them <laughs> or is this okay i'm surprised they all fit in one drawer well no this is like his oh. newborn and zero to three months <laughs> <laughs> bottom drawer is like the stuff for him to grow into there we go these are the things for him to grow into and then down here we have his toy basket. We have some cute bits in here. Derek the dinosaur. <laughs> a nice little elephant. We have a bunny rabbit. This is his name on it, that one. But yeah, just some cute bits in there for him. Um, yeah, tummy time stuff. And then this wardrobe is full of non-baby items. <laughs> So I'm not going to open it. And that, I think, is the full tour. Have we gone through everything, would you say? I believe so. <gasps> <gasps> the creme de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> this hot air balloon lampshade is very, very cute. And it's from Zara Home. And that was what started off the um, theme for me. Not that it's like heavily themed in here, I wouldn't say. It's quite mm. um, a mixture. But it was meant to be like safari slash hot air balloon, but you know, it's got a bit of everything and I think it works well. So, um, thank you for watching.